How you doing, YouTube? Matt Matt's Beer Reviews, back with another review, a little bit of Ken Falls Jams, courtesy they're all alone with everywhere to go. This is a 5.1% single hop pale ale. So yeah, this can comes courtesy of my boy, Tyler, dropped this off in a beer mail, and uh, I'm excited to give it a whirl, because I dig on me some... Uh, Ken Falls. They're a little hit or miss for me from time to time, but as of late, they've been really been crushing it for me. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see what's what. Probably a little dirty glass mafia on, because I don't know if I washed that glass completely. It doesn't look too shabby. But, I mean, you're talking about a 5.1% pale ale. That looks like butternut squash soup. So it's got this big, rich, haze to her. Pinky finger, fluffy, creamy head to it. Like, just want to sleep on that shit. Fluffiness. A little bit of rocky edges, a little bit of soapy edges. You mostly tight compact bubbles. Uh, Lib-wise, it's pretty cool. It's plain, you know, uh, two-tone graphics. Drawn in art design and I kind of dig. I mean, that kind of reminds me of an eyeball from, like, a video game, like, ghosts, go goals and goose and gob ghosts and goblins, Jesus Christ words, or something weird like that. So, I like it. There you go. Give her a turn. And, uh, yeah. She looks nice. And you're talking about a five, what, 5.1%. 5 I think that's what I said. Pale ale. She looks hefty. Let's get a nose. Oh, yeah, buddy. You're getting a nice, rich, multi-layer, depth, fatty kind of sweetness. Or sweetness, I shouldn't say that. It's a citrus. I think there's a little bit of kind of diacetyl things going on here, but it doesn't necessarily bother me in the beer. The way it comes off when I talk about that fattiness, that flabbiness, I think that actually is a diacetyl thing kind of coming off, but the way it plays in this beer doesn't really distract all that much for me. So you got this big, huge citrus vibes, rich, and like I said, kind of flabby, and that's a kind of soft diacetyl that I don't think necessarily makes it a bad beer, just adds something that, to be perfectly honest with you, that kind of maybe enhances this beer a little bit. I know that's kind of blasphemy to say. Some people say that's a flaw and it's fucked up. I don't know. A little bit of diacetyl sometimes don't bother me. And that's all I'm really getting. That soft diacetyl, that rich kind of citrus components in there. And it's kind of like, like almost like a caramelized cooked citrus, but then cooled down. There's that, that kind of weird citrus. I, I feel like it's weird that, that the, the nose citrus is off when it's warmed. But if you caramelize it, not burn it, but like cook it down a bit, reduce down a bit, then cool it. There's like this kind of rounded edge to the citrus, and that's kind of what I'm getting in here, and that's all I'm getting. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, there's a decent amount of diacetyl in here, but again, just the way this beer plays, it's not really getting all that much in the way of the beer. So you're getting gobs and gobs of those citrus in the taste, way bigger than what you expect from a 5.1% beer. Kind of makes me think diacetyl is coming from a hop addition. The amount of hops they had to put in this low ABV beer to get this as hazy as rich and as hop forward, it can, you know, your hop creep can attribute to having some of that kind of diacetyl vibes come out in a beer. Probably the case in this. What's the date on this? So you're 1014 on this. This is over two months old. Not necessarily that I'm a big kind of date Nazi kind of guy, but when you're talking about this many hops in a lower ABV beer, that's where that hop creep tends to happen. You tend to have those soft diacetyl vibes. It's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Nothing too crazy. Until you kind of think about the, mount, um, the ABV, 5.1%. It's got a really nice, rich, dense mouthfeel to it. A sprightly carbonation for how dense it is. And there's really all about that citrus. I would love to have tried this beer fresh. I could see this beer being absolutely a sock knocker <laughs> offer kind of beer that just um, would really just be right up my wheelhouse when it comes to like this low ABV, high impact, just new school hazy in the way that I like them with that kind of not big ABV, not overly sweet. Well, it's a sweet beer. It's not overly sweet. It's not like super sugary, super synthetic. It's just... In the taste, there is a decent amount of diacetyl in this, so it is something that I think might detract a bunch of people. It's not really doing too much to me, but the way the beer plays, I kind of dig it. Just wish I would have tried it fresh. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better low ABV hazies that I've had as late? It's still worthy being in the conversation, even with that flaw involved, um, but it's not going to get toward the top because of that. So, you know, tit for tat. Uh, value and availability. Ken Falls stuff does see distro. I think I can get it when I peep up in a New York state, but uh, it's few and far between. So if somebody wants to clue me in on that, Tyler or somebody else, let me know it's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you're not diacetyl sensitive, this iteration, I'm filming this a couple days before Christmas 2019. This is canned in uh, October 2019. 
so keep that in mind. You know, future batches may change, but by the time this goes up, it's probably going to be three or four months old. So it might be a markedly different beer. Um, but if in the case of how this beer drinks and, and drinks in this moment, um, you know, if those things don't bother you, but you do like low ABV, high impact hazies, this will do you. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of a low ABV haze right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.